Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will find the missing number with numbers up to 5. And we're going to cover addition. Now there are several different methods we can do this. Let's first of all write down the question we're going to be working through. And let's start with a nice easy one. We've got 2 plus something equals 3. 2 plus something equals 3. That's a nice easy one. Now we've used quite a few different methods when we did addition and subtraction. We're going to use those same methods again. Okay, so we're going to start with the dot method. So this is one way of doing this. And what we're going to do first of all is to rewrite the question again so we can do some workings. So we've got 2 plus something equals 3. Now how do we use the dot method? And it's, it's important you learn the different methods with a nice easy example so that when you're faced with much larger numbers you are still able to use the same principles we are going to be using now. So the dot method, we've got 2 plus something equals 3. Now above the number 2 I'm going to put down 2 dots and we're going to count forwards from the 2 until we reach our answer of 3. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3. So how many more dots did we need? We needed just 1 dot. Okay, and that is the answer. 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. We had 2 to begin with and we counted forwards and we had to add one more dot. Okay, that's very simple. That is the dot method. Okay, now we're going to use the number line. And when you're faced with a question like this, find the missing number, you don't have to use all three methods. Use any of the methods. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Now with the number line, and you know what a number line is, it's simply a line with numbers our number line and we're going to draw it here and I'd like you to draw it as well we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and because we're doing numbers up to 5 we should do the number line up to 10 but number line up to 5 is perfectly fine okay this is our number line and it runs from 0 to 5 okay now let's have a look at our question again. We have 2 plus something equals 3. So first of all, we've already got 2. Okay, look at the question. We've got 2. So let's put a nice big circle above number 2. Now after the equal sign, what number do we have? We've got number 3. So let's circle number 3. That's where we have to end up with. Okay, so we're starting at 2. How many jumps do we have to take to get to 3? OK, I'm going to show you the jumps now. OK, count with me. It is 1. There's one jump. And that's the answer. We started at 2 and we took one jump to get to our answer of 3. OK, so therefore, how many jumps did we take? We took one jump. And that is the answer. And notice how the one here is the same as the one here. OK? So two different methods, and you arrived at the same answer. Okay, now we're going to use our third method. Now we've done this before. We've got the head and fingers. Head and fingers method, or you can also call it simply counting. Okay, now all three methods apply slightly different principles but the underlying message is the same. So for the head and fingers counting method let's rewrite the question again and then we can do some workings. 2 plus something equals 3. Okay. Now how does the head and fingers method work? Well we are starting let me just change colors for this. We are starting at number 2. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to count until 
we get to number three. Okay. So start at number two. I want you to hold out one hand. Okay. Close the fingers. So you're holding out one hand. Close the fingers. Okay. Make it into a fist. So starting at number two, we're going to count forwards until we get to three. Each time we count forwards, I want you to hold out one finger. So start at number two, count forwards, hold out one finger, that's one finger. After two, the number is three. Okay, stop counting because we have got to number three. So you may need to stop counting. How many fingers are you holding out? How many fingers? Well, the answer is one. You're holding out one finger. Okay, two plus one equals three. Okay, and that is the answer. Now, do you notice that using the dot method, we had the answer as one. Using the number line, oops, I've gone all the way around. We also had one. And using the head and fingers method, we also had one. So three different methods, and we arrived at the same answer. And which method you use? It's entirely up to you. I would strongly advise that you use all three methods when you're doing the questions. Okay, that way you understand the slightly different principles involved. So that is find the missing number with numbers up to five for addition.